Hello and welcome to part two of our Coast to Coast Trail. We've come back to Mauler. This is the second video in our short series of the Coast to Coast Trail. First one covered Patrif to Mawla. Today we're going from Mawla to Unity Woods, which is beside the Poldice Valley. So Mawla is a very pretty, tiny little hamlet, and it's on the Coast to Coast Trail. Beautiful, still evening we've got here. One or two pesky midges out. Hopefully they won't bother us. Birds are loving this evening sun. Oh, and the cows. So how long is this part? I'd say this is another three miles. Okay, so there and back, do you think we'll do it before sundown? Well, there and back is six miles. Yes, you're the, worried, aren't the you? The sun's going down. <laughs> and you're not happy, I are you? I have got my miner's lamp with me. <laughs> I'll be wrecking tonight. Yeah. So the vehicles that went up and down this tram road, they weren't trains, were they? What, what were they? Trucks. They were um, trucks carrying uh, the coal from Portreef up to the mines. Yes. And then you had the copper and the tin ore being exported back down to Portreef to be shipped back up towards South Wales. So here in the middle of the track are some granite, well, sets I suppose, or sleepers would you call them? Ella, my sweetheart, can you move, please? But there's actually a, a man-made dent there, isn't there? That's and where that's... the rail would have gone, isn't it? In there? It's and... next to the rabbit poo here. <laughs> and they would have knocked a nail into that to secure the rail to the sleeper, wouldn't they? Yeah. This lane is absolutely covered in bluebells and the evening sun gives them such a warm blue colour. Absolutely gorgeous. What do you make of that then, boy? You're trying to eat, don't eat the grass, that's not, no, go on. Oh, and some stank, he's right up ahead of me. Oh. Absolutely beautiful Cornish countryside on a gorgeous sunny evening, no wind. Look at those sycamores, just opened. Beautiful colour. I do love the spring greens. A couple of bits of old farm machinery here. Looks like an old plough. Portreath, Deverin. And wheel plenty. Wheel plenty, I like plenty. Plenty of cream on my scones, that's what I like. Oh. Yeah, you've clocked it, haven't you? Rodder's, Rodder's creamery down the end there. I know. I like a bit of Rodder's cream. Oh, a bit gate leaning. What do you oh, think? Sarah. What? I found some evidence of off what? a previous rail track that used to be here. Where? For the all strong carriages and stuff. What? Look, a bit of track there, look. Rusty bit of track. No, that's an RSJ. Guess what I can see? What? I found one, two. <laughs> two up there. Two engine houses. That one on the left is interesting. Is that converted? Looks like it's converted to one on the left. Oh, wow. So you can get a very good view of that engine house from here. So you reckon that's converted for living in? The first one is, yeah. That fascinates me, having stood in an engine house. It's just a square. How you would actually go about converting that into living accommodation. Love to have a look at one one day. Wheel Peaver, it's Wheel got to be a mine. Yeah, and so, that's, that's just up there to the right, so they would have come down the hill with that and loaded them on down here, I would have thought. Yeah, stop the tram. And we've yeah. seen Wheel Plenty and Wheel Rose. Yes, yes. So more mines. Three mines stack! Oh well, we've only seen two. two. He's getting excited now, look. Smell it. Here it is, Rodder's Creamery. Got to keep my eye on Andrew. He'll be in there, you know. Just as well it's shut. Here, Andrew, walking in the evening is good for your figure. Looking good, isn't it? Look, Prima Bakeries, World Championship Pasty. Giant one there at the entrance. Unfortunately, they're shut too. That's a small one. Sarah. 
What? Rodder's Creamery. Oh, one of the seven wonders of modern Cornwall. What are the other ones? Well, you've got Warren's Bakery down at St. Just. Yeah. Yeah. You've got Mullion Chocolate Factory. Yes. You've got Jeffro. Yes. Got Victoria Graham on Spotlight. <laughs> I think we should stop there. Oh, all right. A30, Gateway to Cornwall. So in 1820, this was as far as a tramway could come because of the A30 was here. Well, it's beautiful, bathed in evening sunshine, Story doesn't it? Church. Yep. So we're now leaving Wheelrose behind and going towards Scoria under the railway bridge. So that's our main railway line. So if you wanted to do this walk in two halves, Fox and Hound's here. Lovely little pub to stop and have a bit of lunch. So we've just crossed the main Truro Red Reith Road. Goes down onto Chase Water if you carry on. They've been banger racing. I think that one won. It's in one piece. Uh, I think this wheel's a bit wonky. I don't think we'll get through the MOT. So we're now leaving the busy road, the Fox and the Hounds is just up there, at this crossroads. The sign is just tucked behind the hedge. Scoria! Scoria! Going down that way now. Come on. Down to Unity Woods. So we're kind of walking down this bit that's lower than the road. The road is just over that hedge. There's a little lodge house for Scoria Estate. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It's all cut granite, look. And the pillar on that triangular window. Little Wheel Fat. Somewhere in there is Little Wheel Fat. Well, the other sign says Little Wheel Fat and Shaft. Oh, so it would have been just there, well, where that sign is, possibly is Possibly there. There's a big indent there where those trees are growing. And there's another one there. No evidence of buildings, long since gone. So the terrain is quite different here now, not in the woods anymore. Next to some beautiful green pasture farmland. Unity Woods, these woods are privately owned and contain many old mine workings which may be hazardous. So what's that big hole in the ground over there? So this is William Shaft, investigated in 2000. Yeah, that's an old shaft isn't it? It's been Cap, capped. Yeah. I wonder how deep. I ain't going down there to find out. <laughs> Not tonight Not anyway. Not tonight, no. Not got the time. Job for tomorrow. Got to get back again, haven't we? Yeah. Before we lose the daylight. I'm a tea there. <laughs> so we're still going in the right direction. Patrice yeah. that way, Devron that way. Where are we? Zimmerpan. Never heard of that. No, new one on me too. Wow. Sounds like a headache pill. Zimmerpan. Now I know what that sounds like. It's probably a cross, a cross between a Zimmer frame and a fan. <laughs> There's more evidence of mining, man-made structures up there, walls and what have you. And none of it looks like natural landscape. It's all been disturbed at some time. Nice little stretch of water here. That look lovely? Starting to lose the light. Look at him stanking on. These are really handy, aren't they? So we're now at Trefusis Shaft and we're still heading down towards Devron to the Poldice Valley. Look how long my shadow is, that's amazing. What a beautiful evening, a couple of mine stacks there, little bunnies eating in the evening sun. I do so love the sounds of nature and of course bird song in the evening. It's wonderful isn't it? So we're almost at our destination. Are you pleased about that? Well, we've got to turn it around and go back again. <laughs> well, that's very true. <laughs> it's a very dark time I get home tonight. <laughs> so the road bears off to the left and we're going to follow the landmark here. 
Devon straight on to Topcall and the Poldice Valley. Yay! So we're here. Poldice Valley! Yay. We did it! So it's halfway on our mammoth trek. So we started in Portree this morning, didn't we? Yes. And now we've ended up here at the Poldice Valley. And we've seen some things, haven't we? Been to the beach, seen the sea mist this morning. Lots of bluebells. Lots of bluebells. Oh, Beautiful. And we've um, searched for mine stacks. We found a few. Eventually we found some. Oh, baby, you're so tired, boy. Please feed me, mummy. I'm so tired. I've walked miles today. I'm an inch shorter. Plastic, and so. that behind me, between our two heads, that is a lunar landscape, oh. the scar on the landscape of the mining industry. Who's talking about me? <laughs> no! Yeah, I've gone there. <laughs> we are going to explore that. We're going to do a circular walk around the Poldice Valley and explain everything we can about it. Mm. 